Welcome back to the fly fishing podcast. I'm going to tie a fly I call Black Magic. It's very, very simple. It imitates a very small black sedge which is on the water at this time of year in the UK. Um, it's a variant of what you might call a CDT shipments, but not quite. It's a very simple fly to tie, very effective and it sort of combines a number of different concepts where fly time is concerned. I'm going to use uh, CDC feathers uh, for the tail and also for the wing. I'm just going to tie in two for the tail, you can tie three. I want to keep these nice and short. It's only just to give a little bit of support at the end of the hook. That's basically enough. Just clip those off, go back over them. Then we're going to tie in the wing. You want to tie the wing just about there. The reason why we're doing that is actually the wing isn't going to point over the eye of the hook like a shipman's feather, but it's going to be fanned out above. I'm going to cut this off. Look at the back here. Tie back. And believe it or not, we're nearly completed the fly. I'm just going to go back down to the bend. And here we're just going to put in a bit of dubbing. Now your dubbing can be seals fair. It can be a blend. I'm going to use uh, the, the Celtic uh, the Celtic blend from uh, Celtic Flycraft. And I'm just using the black with a little bit of claret and red in it. I've had a scraggly body. Just dubbing on a decent proportion of seal's fur here. As the trout take this, it will scrub out. We can do as a little velcro pad beforehand. So I tie to the base of the wing. Then I'm going to tie in front of it. Now by doing that, we cock the wing up at the front. If you can see that. And that profile actually gives a reverse profile of a sedge wing. And for some reason, probably because trout are used to seeing sedges coming at them in all different directions, they find this fly particularly tempting. I'm just going to finish off with a couple of half hitches. Just bring them up. And this is a killing little dry fly at the beginning of summer, all the way through. And you will see the little black sedges out on the riffles, jumping about, coming back down before the large red sedge starts to, to come onto the water. And there you have it. Come and see me soon and uh, I'll show you a few more patterns which are catching fish on the river. Uh, follow me on Facebook and um, have a look at my Pinterest and Instagram pages as well. Tight line, sir.